What's happening everybody? Pure Salvation here and I've got another Black Ops commentary for you guys. It's going to be on a firing range domination game. As much as I'd love to do a behind the mind video for you guys, this is just not the quality for it. This will have in-game audio by the way, so I guess you know that kind of makes up for it. I mean, you know, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm going to be using the FAMAS and you know it what can I really say about this game plan? I mean, I'm, of course I'm going to give you guys tips because, you know, every single video of mine is going to have at least one tip here or there. As you guys can see, I'm running on a 3-bar connection. So, and half the team is running on a 4-bar. But the lucky thing for us is that we have more players than them. So, what am I thinking right off the bat? Well, hey, I'm going to immediately go and try and capture the objective <laughs> and, you know, try to capture B and A. However, this it was a pretty old gameplay, and this was before I had a, a very organized idea of how to hold a good map control on this map. I did personally have personally had a good idea of what I needed to do, and as you can see, my teammates started rushing C, and as a result, they're starting to spawn in A, so I'm asking them to fall back. Although it does sound like this is becoming a, like a behind in my video, this is I assure you it's not. It's just going to be a domination tactics, I guess, video. Because this gameplay, I, I just don't believe it's worthy enough to be called a behind the mind. But I will give you guys several tips on this. So what you, what you guys see me doing right here is, you know, I'm really patrolling the B and A tower, uh, B and A flag using the wooden tower. Or wooden, I don't even know what to call this, just wooden house, I guess. Because it's a very, very good way to patrol not only B, but also A at the same time, because, you know... There are different ways you can do it, but you also need to be careful that you don't get caught off guard, because if you start killing a lot of people here, you're going to draw a lot of attention. And as you guys can see, the sp there's several, several, several spawn points around the, the A, B side, so it's very easy for the enemy to spawn on top of you, which is why I highly emphasize my teammates don't run out there and get me killed by flipping the spawns, because it's no fun for any of us if, if you're on a pretty darn high kill streak but then you all of a sudden you have to end it, it all of a sudden is ended because you know your teammate runs out there flips the entire spawn now all of a sudden you're going it's like 1v5 against the other team so if you are watching this and you're in a full party and you want to do well just you know <laughs> make sure oh gosh I don't remember if I die here actually let's watch this for a sec so the guy came up gave me a surprise so okay all right I was able to clean him up Right there. Oh no, this is the guy right here. So he wasn't expecting me because he had a sniper out and I guess he tried to grizz me. But right here, oh golly goodness. What I just did is not something that you shouldn't do. Well, okay, they took A under my nose because they're all spawning on me as you guys can see. And that goes back to what I was saying is try to organize your team so you don't flip the spawns. And firing range is very, very easy, especially if you're running the AB combination, which is highly recommended because it's much easier to hold. The only problem is you're going to have tons of enemies spawning on you if you push the spawns too much. And as you can see, I am just, oh my gosh, I am just getting in there, getting deep in there. <laughs> Sorry, that was completely inappropriate, and I will never say that again. What you guys see me trying to do is you need to notice that I'm not going ahead and taking A at the moment. I'm realizing that if I go and take A, I'm going to draw much more attention than I need to. So I'm going to use this Blackbird to go ahead and clear out the enemies from spawning in here. Hopefully they'll spawn away from the flag. And then I will go ahead and take A, which is exactly the right move that you should make. And the best part is, is that they're all leaving now. And I don't get to call in my chopper. <laughs> And, oh gosh, I think, yeah, I think this is when they all just back out. And so, what I did here was absolutely correct, and that's something you guys should know. And so the enemy quits, uh, quits out, so, yeah, I don't get to call in my kill streak, sad face. But hey, I mean, I think this was in a pretty impressive game. I mean, getting trapped in, like, wow, I mean, actually, I should have watched this video over again because that was really impressive if I do say it myself. But that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been uh, Domination Tactics on Firing Range. And now the enemy team joins. And ah. Uh, so my final score, I think, is 21 and nothing. So it's a pretty good flawless, I must say. <laughs> but, anyways, that's been the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up because, you know, I'm really looking for those guys. And 
it helps you in the long run. The more thumbs up I get, the more publicity it gets, and then the more motivation I have to focus on these videos. So hopefully you enjoy this. I'll see you guys in the next video, and you all take care now.